I recently had a female friend that was dating this guy that was honestly treating her like straight trash. This guy just did not treat her well. And he wouldn't respond to her calls. He wasn't very communicative. He had a hard time saying what he really wanted. And every time she would ask him to basically show me that you've changed, he would in the worst way possible by doing exactly nothing and by being the exact same guy. And she dealt with this over and over and over and over again. This guy that would always say he would change and he would promise her all these things and then nothing would change. Now, one day I asked her, why are you dating this guy? And she said something that really stopped me in my tracks when she said, I guess it was just reassuring to know that if I dated a guy who didn't intimidate me, who was beneath me a little, at least he wouldn't leave me. And made me think about how so much of the time in life we settle for less than what we truly want because we're afraid of asking for what we really want. It's like this one guy that I heard <laughs> in a coaching session when I asked him, what do you really want? And he said, you know, it'd be great to have a nice job and like a good reliable car. And all I could think was, are you joking me? Your greatest, wildest life dream, if you won the lotto, is to get a nice secure job and a great reliable car? What a pathetic, unconscious, fearful life this guy must be living to literally have that as his wildest dream. And in reality, he probably just really felt uncomfortable saying what he really wanted because he was let down early on in his life. But so many of us settle for a life we don't actually want. And we have somehow convinced ourselves that that is the thing that we deserve. And all I wonder is how many of us could achieve our wildest dreams if we actually allowed ourselves to dream about what we actually want. Like, what do you actually want in a person that you date? Do you want someone who looks a certain way and is successful and is highly educated and loves their family and is adventurous? Then that's what you should go for and that's not what you should settle for anything less than. Do you want a job that you absolutely love that changes the world and pays you at least six figures? Then that's what you should go for and you shouldn't settle for anything less. And you should say that, that that's what you want when people ask you. Not some PC BS answer that's all watered down vanilla because you don't know if it's possible or you're worried about people judging you for saying some outlandish thing. Do you want to be a writer who sells a million books? Then friggin' say that, that you want to be a writer that sells a million books. Say that. Life is so short to not go after the thing you actually want, to not play it safe, to not give these BS PC answers, to not give these watered down nice responses is anyone gonna believe me? Is anyone gonna trust me? Do I have what it takes? Because like Marianne Williamson said, our deepest fear really is not that we don't have what it takes. Our deepest fear is that we are these incredibly powerful beings that can achieve the most incredible things. But sometimes we forget that. And sometimes we forget that the people who built this entire world are usually not that much more special and not that much smarter than most of us, than you listening and watching this. So I want to ask you this. What do you actually want? And what would your life look like if you went after what you really wanted?